Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to create a retro space logo using GIMP image editor. So we open up GIMP software and we need to make sure that the background here is black. So we select the background layer here, right now it's purple and we're just going to move our mouse cursor to the bottom left or bottom right hand corner to select the black color and click OK and then we'll go to file new and we'll just make a 10, 1920 by 1080 HD resolution document and we'll click OK. So here we've got a black background. We'll click on the letter A for text tool and we'll go to the canvas and we'll use the left mouse button to insert the text tool and in here we're going to type in space. So uh, you can type in whatever you want. Right now the font is black so we need to press Control A on our keyboard to select the text and in the font color here, we'll set it to white. So or just move your mouse cursor here to the top left hand corner and we'll click OK. Now you can see the text and I missed the word C, the letter C, space, right? Now, what we want to do is these handles, we want to drag them like this and we want to fill out quite a lot of this canvas. So it's to something like, something like this. So we want like to have a little black border around the edge, not all the way, but quite close to the edge, yeah? something like this. So leave a little gap on each of the edges. And then we want to click on the left hand side of this text space and we want to move it down towards the center. And then we'll select the text and we're going to set it to around 400 pixels and then hit the enter key. So that's going to make it a bit bigger. If you want to center the text, make sure the center option here is selected. Yeah, center right here. And this particular font I'm using, I'll put um, a link to this font in the YouTube description. And I'll also I'll put a link on how to install the font as well on your computer if you're not sure how to do that. Um, and really we want that text to be sitting in the center. So we're going to click up here somewhere and just hit the delete key two times and we'll get it roughly in the center. It doesn't have to be perfect. So around here would be fine, yeah? Something like this. So you can type anything you want. You want it roughly around this sort of font size. You can have it a bit bigger, a bit smaller. It doesn't really matter, but roughly something like this. Then we're gonna click on the move tool and then we'll go to select. And in fact, what we'll do is we'll go to this uh, layer here, the text layer that we were selecting Make sure you click on the top one here, we'll right click and we'll do alpha to selection here. And that will basically select all of the text around the edges, that's what it's doing. You can see that, you might be able to see that little dotted line around the edge. Then we, we want to fill this text with a colour, so we're going to go to the gradient tool here. And you can pick whatever gradient you want, you can even make a custom one, but in this example I'm going to use uh, this, let's have a look. Uh, we we'll use this deep sea. So I'll click on deep sea and then that will show in the swatch here and you can see the text written here deep sea. I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to move to the top of the letter S. Holding down the control key I'm going to left click and drag down and that will color the font like this. So something like this. You can experiment and do whatever style you want but I think something like this will be good. And then we'll click on the move tool and then we'll go to select and we'll do select none. And now we've got our text here like this. We're going to go to this layer here, the top layer, right click, and we're going to duplicate it. Now we've got two copies, and we're going to select the bottom copy. We're going to right click on it again, and we're going to go to alpha to selection. And that will draw another selection around this text. Then we want to go to um, select, and we'll go to grow, and we'll set it to 10. I'm going to set it to 10, you can say a bit higher or lower, whichever you like. I'm going to set it to 10 and click OK. Now it's basically selected the text but over selected around the edge, that's what it's done. And we want to go to the gradient tool again and we've still got the deep C selected but this time we're going to hold down the control key and we're going to drag in the opposite direction from bottom to top, 
holding down the control key and make sure you get a nice straight line there yeah? using the control key. So we want something that looks a bit like this. And we'll click on this move tool and then we'll go to select and none. Now we've got the font looking like this. And the last thing we want to do is right click on this, this layer here and we'll duplicate it one more time. So we do duplicate layer. And then this time we'll select the bottom layer. We'll do right click alpha to selection again. And we'll go to select grow. And this time we'll set it to five and we'll click okay. We're gonna have like this thin border around the edge. And we may need to zoom in a bit here. So we'll hold down the control key to zoom in yeah, and use the mouse wheel. Then we're gonna to go to our paint bucket tool and we'll click on the top layer here, this top swatch, the front swatch, foreground. And we wanna select a color from here. So we're gonna go for something like purple sort of color, like this, something like this. You can pick any color you like. <clears throat> we'll click okay. And then we need to click inside that selection to, to fill it in purple. And if we zoom back out, if we use the mouse wheel in the middle and hold it down, we can move the canvas and we can use the control key and the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. And we try and center this out like this. And then we'll go to the move tool and we'll go to select and we'll do select none. Okay, now we can see that there. Let's make sure the bottom layer is selected, this bottom one here of the three, this text layer here. And then we'll go to filter, blur, and we'll do Gaussian blur. And we want to set this to maybe something like something like this. And we'll click OK. So we've got this like a like cloud sort of spacey sort of effect on there, right? The last thing we want to do is click on the background layer. And then we'll go to filter and we'll go to light and shadow and we'll click on lens flare. And then we'll make sure we've got this mass icon selected and we'll click here. Let's click it one more time. We'll click here and we'll drag to see what we like. So maybe something, something like this around here and we'll click OK. That's a kind of our lens flare effect. And then we'll click on filter and we'll go to light and shadow and we'll click on uh, supernova here and we'll click we need to click on this mass icon here and then we'll click on the top roughly around the top of this uh, this um, letter S somewhere around here and we want to set it to maybe a lighter color we want to try and match it to the, the surrounding edge of that color so it doesn't clash too much and we'll click OK. That's it. We're about done. You've got this space logo. It's a nice, simple logo. You've got the lens flare in the background. That text could have said anything you want. You've got this effect that's this sort of like a glow effect around it as well. You could put a different background in there if you liked. You don't have to use the lens flare, but I think it looks quite nice. So the last thing we should really do is go File, Save As. And we'll go to my desktop. And uh, we'll go here. And we'll just call it Logo. Let's type in here logo 01 we'll save this and then we'll go to file export and we're saving in the same directory so we'll do uh, a jpeg save let's do a jpeg here it's called logo1.jpeg we'll click export we we'll set it at 90 export the logo we can close this now and here we can see that example logo so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial it's quite a simple tutorial and you can go ahead and make your own logo and do your own effects and use your own colors and experiment with that as much as you like um, and you can use a different font I'm going to give you a link to where I downloaded the font and uh, you can go ahead and make this logo yourself or something similar and use it on your projects, use it on your social media, 
put your company logo there or make a new logo for your YouTube channel, however you want to use it, feel free. It's 1080p resolution, so it's good for a, a desktop background as well. So you could just right click on this and then say set as desktop background. And there you go. It's used as your desktop background on your Windows computer. Okay, I hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.